Hey, it's Brian Earhart with Team Discraft here. We are at McNaughton Park in Pekin, Illinois, doing some field work practice. Um, a lot of players these days are filling their bags with a lot of different types of molds, which really only seem to have one specific job. Uh, this can cause quite a bit of confusion off the tee, and definitely a lack of overall control of that equipment. I'm going to show you a drill today you can incorporate into your field work routine that will help you master those molds and give you a much better sense of control over them. This one's called the three cone tempo drill. The goal of the drill is to develop a better sense of understanding for how your equipment flies at different tempos and angles. Uh, a very common theme for a lot of top professional players is a more minimalistic bag uh, with a lot fewer molds. This is really stemming from the fact that they've taken the time to learn how to manipulate angles of their disc rather than switching to a new one for each shot. What you'll need for the drill is a stack of five of your favorite disc or a disc you're looking to learn. The one I'm working with today is going to be one of my favorite drivers from the Discraft lineup, which is the Vulture. You'll also need three distance markers in 100 foot increments. Uh, today I'm going to be using cones at increments of 200, 300, and 400 feet. The drill starts by taking your stack of five discs and throwing them at the closest cone. Once you feel like you've gotten a good feel for that distance, take your stack and move your scythe to the next furthest cone. As an added challenge for this drill, try to throw each disc as straight as possible at each cone and try to stay away from chip shot hyzers. To take this to the next level, try completing this drill by aiming at a different cone each time you throw. This gives the added challenge of forcing the body to adjust tempos quickly while still throwing the same disc. You'll be surprised at how widely usable some of your existing discs are at different speeds and angles. Give this drill a try and leave us a comment letting us know how you like it. If you're looking for more drills like this, feel free to click over here and check out more videos in our Fieldwork Fundamental series. Also check out Discraft.com for more information.